Hello everyone. I decided to do another puzzle solving video uh, again uh, for a puzzle by Tyler Williams from the Beards Woodshop Company. Uh, this time though, I wanted to solve the Helms Keep puzzle. As you can see on the front and the back, there's these independently spinning, uh, almost like uh, ship steering wheels. And there's one in the front and back. Uh, there and then there's one in the front and back here as well uh, and so uh, one of the interesting things is one is bigger and one is smaller I'm not sure if that means anything but then also interestingly you can see that these are right on top of each other where these actually have discs uh, that separate them from each other and from the back there uh, one of the other observations is that when you spin these wheels the bottom the top one spins freely but the bottom one is a little harder to move. At first, I thought this didn't move, the bottom one, but it actually does. You just gotta put a little bit of force there and, it's, and it moves and then it snaps back into the same place. So there's a magnet there, uh, somewhere on the second wheel that actually uh, aligns with the box itself and snaps back. So I found that very interesting. And then if you look at this side, it's very similar. Uh, the, the, there's a, also a, See, uh, I don't know if you saw that, but if you move this, there's actually uh, a smaller magnet that isn't as uh, strong, but it still kind of keeps that in place. Um, so then there's this kind of saber handle here on top uh, that has, it's like a handle that you can move back and forth. Not exactly sure what that does yet, um, but uh, what we do know is that if you tilt it to this side, kind of gets stuck right there. So it gets stuck right there if you move to that side. Then if you tilt it over, it gets free again. So there's some sort of mechanism that's gravity. Uh, and then there's a hole in the bottom here. And if you look really closely right there, you can see that there's, I believe, metal there. So I think it's probably a pin uh, that probably comes out and is used as a tool because if you look here, similar to the compass puzzle, there is a hole instead of north now it's south and that hole lines up with a hole below it on the other wheel and i think i only saw one yeah, i don't think there's another one here yes just the one so i'm assuming that that tool somehow uh will play into that and that we have to kind of uh figure that part out now i guess the first things first is, oh, and finally there's this nice, uh, looks like probably a door of some sort that's gonna come out or pegs that'll come out or something uh, once we activate some of these mechanisms. I don't seem to see anything else on this puzzle, so let's just go ahead and kind of get going on that. So initially I was thinking that if there's a metal pin in there, it's probably being held in place by uh, one of these magnets or a magnet of some sort. And so I thought by just spinning these, maybe we could get it out. Let me turn that um, focus off. Uh, however, it doesn't seem to be coming out that way. So I'm wondering if there's anything with the handles uh, or this, this saber handle that gets caught there. Um, so, I'm not really sure what I'm doing other than I know that it gets locked here. I'm wondering, oh, so the pin did come out. I'm not exactly sure what I did. Maybe it's just a weak magnet and all it needs is a little bit of tapping. Although I was tapping it earlier. Let's try that again. Right, nothing comes out. Oh, so I think that's what it is. I think there's just a really weak magnet in there that's holding it in. And there's really no mechanism to getting it out other than a slight tap. And so, of course, you want to use uh, a nice soft surface so you don't uh, chip up the wood because this is uh, pretty soft wood. Anyway, now that I have the tool, um, we can go ahead and we knew that there was a hole here somewhere. Right, where's that hole? 
There it is. So we'll put that pin in there. All right, so we can see that the pin goes in maybe a few millimeters. I think it doesn't go very far at all. Um, so I can I turn it, and now I remember there's that disc there. So I'm guessing, I'm wondering if that hole is in that disc. Yep, that hole is going to be in that disc. So probably we have to turn that disc to find a hole that matches on the bottom steering wheel, I'm assuming. And then, oh, there's definitely, oh, I feel some, oh, so there's a magnet in there for sure. It's a pretty strong magnet can hold that, that, that pin up. So I'm wondering if I have to try and get around to that magnet. So, because I wasn't going any lower. So we can see. I cannot really. Oh, there we go. Did you see that? We went in probably another few millimeters deeper. So I bet you now we're in the second wheel. So at this point, I'm wondering if it goes any further. So let's just kind of spin it all around, maybe. Maybe I'm not supposed to be moving that last disc. I don't think I have any. Maybe I need to pull it up a little bit so I'm not. Oh, did you see that? Is that just my imagination? Something right there? No, I think there's. See that there? There's like a groove right there. There's like a groove there. I'm wondering if I think I might have fallen out of the, the wheel. No, I'm moving them both. So am I? It's right there by that groove. So I'm wondering. I'm wondering if like I need to be pushing that around in order to get deeper. Oh, see, there's another groove there on the top wheel. So I'm wondering, hmm, am I doing this all wrong? I'm doing something wrong or, oh. Well, obviously that that magnet is tight because look at that. When I move the wheel, it does do something there. So I'm wondering Oh, that's strange. So I'm not sure exactly where that magnet is. Oh, I, shoot. I guess I could test it with this. Okay, so that's where the magnet is there. So let's see if it changes. Okay, so obviously on the, on the second wheel, there's that magnet there. Let's see if I, if I change this. Yeah, so it doesn't stick with that. So it's obviously on the second wheel. I'm a little worried that this, this pin is loose. I'm kind of worried that I'm doing one of, I'm either pulling at it and I'm not supposed to because it's making this loose or I'm supposed to do that for some reason and I'm trying not to, and that's keeping me from from making some headway. So let's find that, uh, where's that groove on that first wheel? So here's the groove on the first wheel. Oh, so maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe the, um, the magnets on this. Ah, the magnets on that disc, I think. So maybe there's two magnets. Oh, ah, so maybe the, yep. So I think these grooves have something to do with where the magnet is. And I think maybe we need to try and match those grooves up. So I need to match that groove with that groove.
So that keeps wanting to go there. So there must be a magnet on this wheel too that's attracting the magnet on the disc. So maybe there's, maybe that's some of what I'm missing here is I need to, because obviously I'm sinking down a little bit here and that's right where that groove is. So I'm assuming that's where the magnet is. Ah, uh, did you hear that? There's something in there. See, when I do that, something falls out, and then I can move this again. I have no clue <laughs> what that means for this part here, whether I'm just putting my... <gasps> Wait, there's a hole right there. Okay. Okay, so I'm scared. Oh boy. I really don't know if I'm supposed to like, let it go. Oops, well, I just did. All right. So the pin's in there now. Is it still there? Yes. So the pin's still there. So I am not sure exactly what I have accomplished with putting it in there. Let's take it back out maybe. Okay. So I just thought I would try this, where if I put the uh, tool into the groove here and try to move it from the um, the back wheel, whether I could and I did. So I am not sure whether that accomplished anything, but I'm thinking maybe by doing that, um, I might be able to find the other hole in that disc that I've not been able to find. So, and again, it might be having to do with lining up. Um, there we go. Oh, no. Well, it went, went down again. I'm not sure if that means it went further or... There we go. That definitely went further. So I'm down here and I've gone down probably another few millimeters. Oh, okay. So by pulling this at that point, basically I've got it inserted almost all the way. Now I can't push any further. And as you can see, this is all interconnected somehow now. So it's basically stuck the same way it's stuck when I turn it this way. Maybe something will fall out of that. Maybe that whatever was in there would fall out of that hole. No. <laughs> so I got that down in there. So I think what I did was correct. Oh, see, now those two grooves are lined up. So maybe I was right. Something about that. Question is, am I supposed to go all the way in right now? Or maybe, does it let me go in? So right there, go, lets me go in right in the middle there. I'm wondering if there's like, if it's another trap where, or a trap where there's another hole somewhere and I'm just taking the easy way out type of thing. I'm assuming this here is something. And I'm wondering whether, I, just, I, I can feel that this is gonna break if I push it too hard. So I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I felt something move. Is that the wheels? Hmm. So, 
I don't wonder if this pen here is supposed to come out as a tool or something, but all right, I'm just gonna put it down for a bit. Okay, so I've uh, picked it up a few minutes ago and I figured a couple of things out. So the, the first thing is I was trying to get that that back disc to kind of line up with this front disc where the uh, and to sink into uh, the box so that it would kind of hit this and make it stop. I think what I was doing was going about it the wrong way. So whatever the pin is in there that when I take that out, something blocks that. So my thought is that that pin, whatever that is falling out of that, maybe the goal <laughs> is to get that, because uh, obviously when I stick this pin in, it can lock this in place. So maybe that pin actually also uh, can come out this hole. So in reality, maybe what's going on here is that if I can line up those first three wheels and then get that pin stuck in here, maybe it'll poke out and actually lock this uh, last one in place. So see, I can lock the first two in place and then see if I can get that third hole. Yeah, so there, okay, I'm, I'm in the third wheel now. So I'm, they're all going, all right? So see now, because the magnet from this wheel and that disc is connected or the two magnets that connect those, see it, it turns when I'm turning the third wheel, but I'm not, I'm not into that uh, disc yet. So if I turn this on its side where that's now locked and I wiggle that around a little bit. So, and I just turn that Oh, See now I can't move that. So if I push really hard, see now that disc is locked into place. And um, so now I've got kind of it back where I had it. But the problem is I want to get that pin, if possible, out that's locking that in place. So if I get that all, if I make sure that this kind of stays here, lined up with those grooves. But if I take the pin out, try to hold it in place, and then kind of wiggle it around, Maybe I can like, there, oh, and look what happens. We get another tool. Okay. So now we have this rod as well as this rod. So that kind of clears up uh, kind of what needs to happen, I guess. I mean, well, first thing is I'm wondering if this hole that's in the back here that we were looking at before, let's see if I can get this to, the hole that was back here, right there. So I'm not exactly sure, but I'm thinking maybe that was a way for us to actually use this. Nope, I was gonna say to push it through, but I still don't know what that back hole is for. <laughs> so the only thing I could think of now is that maybe for this door here, if I put um, this into the hole as well, and then use this, it gives me some leverage. Oh, and that's, uh, yep. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there you go. And there's a trap door held together by magnets. There's our other rod. And then, so it looks like when I was putting that through, originally it was being held in place by these magnets, which doesn't attract the brass rod, but, oh, where, oh there it is, are these magnets. So anyway, okay, so, and if we look in there, that's what was shit. That's probably the, what we was making the sound before. All right, and then we get this little prize here. Mm. 
There you go. Pirate's gold. That is our prize. So there you go. So let's see if we can put it back together really quick. So there you have it. That's the Helm's Keep puzzle by Tyler Williams at Beard's Woodshop Company. Again, another great puzzle by Tyler. And I have one more that's on the way and one more that's downstairs that I'm going to solve as well, maybe uh, in an upcoming video. I do these mostly because my dad likes to watch me do these. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you should pick this up if you can. Uh, and if not, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you soon.